Hey everybody, this is Brajesh here and you are watching CABA Info Ventry. Honorable Supreme Court today barred banks from charging interest on interest or penalty from borrowers during loan monitorium. Yes, my dear friends, the long wait for the judgment of Honorable Supreme Court on account of waiver of compound interest, interest on interest or panel interest on loan was over today that is 23rd March 2021 when Honorable Supreme Court delivered much awaited judgment directing lenders for not charging off compound interest, interest on interest or panel interest on the installments which were due during the loan moratorium period from March 1st, 2020 to 31st August 2020 on any borrower irrespective of the loan amount. A bench comprising Justice Ashok Bhushan, R. Subhash Reddy and Justice M. R. Shah pronounced the verdict in the case of a small scale industries manufacturers association versus Union of India on 23rd March 2021. This judgment was pending since 17 December 2020 before the top court. The link for downloading the copy of the Supreme Court order dated 23rd March 2021 is given in the description box. You may download the same from that link. Keep watching this video till end in order to get the full benefit out of this video. The top court also refused the extension of Moridor Imperial. Honorable Supreme Court on Tuesday directed that there should not be any charging of compound interest, interest on interest or panel interest on the installments which were due during the loan moratorium period from March 1st, 2020 to August 31st, 2020 from any borrower irrespective of the loan amount. Hence, this is a very important order by the Honorable Supreme Court giving relief to all the borrowers irrespective of their classes or loan amount outstanding which were earlier fixed for loan up to rupees 2 crore. No rationale was given by the government or RBI for restricting the benefit of interest on interest waiver on the loans up to rupees 2 crore, the top court observed. Now, all borrowers have been benefited from the decision of the Supreme Court and no compound interest, interest on interest or panel interest on the installment shall be charged by banks or financial institutions which were due from them during the moratorium period from March 1st, 2020 to August 31st, 2020 irrespective whether they have availed the moratorium or not. Big cheers for MSME sector. If such interest has already been collected, it should either be refunded to the borrower or adjusted towards the next installments. The court directed. The bench observed that there is no rationale in the center's policy to limit the benefit of waiver of interest on interest only to certain loan categories of borrowers that is less than rupees to crore. Last year, center had taken a decision to allow waiver of interest on interest in eight specified categories for loan up to rupees to crore. You may watch my earlier video on this issue where all the eight categories of the borrowers have been shared by me. The link of that video is given here. We are of the opinion that there should not be any charge of interest on interest, compounding interest or panel interest for the period during the moratorium period from any of the borrowers and whatever amount is recovered by way of interest on interest, compound interest or panel interest for the period during the moratorium, same shall be refunded and to be adjusted or given credit in the next installment of the loan account, the court directed. It is very positive news for all the borrowers 
and there is a big relief on account of interest on interest during the moratorium period. At the same time, the court refused to grant total waiver of interest during moratorium period. The court observed that it is not possible to order complete waiver of interest during the loan moratorium period because banks have to pay interest to depositors and pensioners. Further, the top court rejected the petitioner's payer for further extension of the six months loan moratorium period granted by RBI on account of COVID-19 pandemic. The following prayers made by borrowers for granting the relief were rejected by the top court. Total waiver of interest during the moratorium period. Number two, to extend the period of moratorium. Number three, to extend the period for invocation of resolution mechanism. Number four, prayer for sector-wise reliefs provided by RBI. And last, further reliefs over and above the packages already offered. Top code also clarified that the RBI circular dated 27 March 2020 shall be applicable to all banks non-banking financial companies that is NBFC, housing finance companies that is HFC and other financial institutions that is FIs compulsorily and mandatorily and not just to banks. It is again a very positive news for the borrowers and now borrowers from all lenders will get the benefit of waiver of interest on interest, compound interest and penal interest. As per previous order of the top court, only borrowers of the bank were eligible, but now even the borrowers of the NBFC, HFC and financial institutions shall also be benefited from the waiver of interest on interest, compound interest or penal interest during the moratorium period. The top court also lifted interim relief granted earlier for not declaring the accounts of respective borrowers as NPA by lending institutions and that stands vacated now. In view of this, now your account shall be classified NPA by your lender if you do not pay your loan amount or EMI within due date and in time and your account shall be classified NPS per the prudential norms of the lender which will spoil your credit rating including other negative impact on your borrowing power. Therefore, be cautious henceforth on this point and my advice to you is to pay your EMI or loan installments promptly and within the due date without fail. However, it is not cleared by the top court in its order that from which date the loan account shall be classified as NPA, whether from 1st September 2020 or from 1st of April 2021. If RBI decides to implement the classification of loan accounts as NPA from 1st of September, then substantial loan accounts, it is apprehended may be classified as NP. As per research report by ICRA, a research agency that additional 1 lakh crore as NPA is to be recognized by the banks or it will be 1% of the advances by the month end and this may be a big dent on the financial health of the banking sector, it is apprehended. Lenders have estimated that it will cost to the exchequer around additional rupees 7,000 to 7,500 crore for the waiver of interest on interest to borrowers in addition to rupees 6,500 crore already provided on account of interest on interest waiver on loans up to rupees 2 crore as per the earlier order of the apex court. Hence, the total impact may be around rupees 13,500 to 14,000 crore on the economy for this interest on interest waiver as estimated by the lenders. 
who will bear the additional cost of extension of interest on interest waiver arising out of the latest judgment of apex court of 23rd march 2021 in my opinion the exchequer has to bear the same and it will be ultimately borne by the taxpayers in the form of higher tax payment to government however in my view the accounts may be classified as npa from 1st of april 2021 which is logical also i feel that the necessary guidelines by rbi on applicability of date of classification of loan as npa shall be issued shortly the top court also held that in economic policy matters the scope of judicial review is very limited financial policy is a field in which court should tread cautiously as judges are not experts in what manner financial packages and reliefs are to be provided is to be decided by the central government with the aid and advice of the expert bodies like rbi the court held courts cannot interfere even if second view of the policy is possible hence this principle is propounded by the top court now on the non interference by it even if second view on the policy is possible this is again very important legality of the policy and not the soundness of the wisdom of the policy is subject of the judicial review the court observed courts are not appellate forum or advisers with respect to executive policy matters the court has this judgment cited number of supreme court precedent emphasize the limited scope of judicial review except in case of glaring illegality of the mela file court held that no writ of memanda can be issued to direct the central government or rbi to provide relief to particular sector over and above the sectors already identified the court held that granted relief such as interest waiver or moratorium extension will have far reaching consequences for economy it is not for the court to decide what should be the nature of financial relief which should be granted the court had reserved its judgment on december 17th 2020 after hearing petitioners that is central government rbi and various interveners on this issue the judgment authored by justice m r shah observed that the government also suffered due to unprecedented pandemic and lost gst revenue government has its own financial concern and the make affected all sectors and government had to take measures such as providing transport to migrant from various steps taken by the central government and rbi it cannot be said that center has not taken any steps in the backdrop of covid-19 the bench observed rbi issued a notification on 27th march 2020 to permit banks and financial institutions to grant a moratorium of 3 months on payment of all installments of term loans falling due between march 1st 2020 and may 31st 2020 this period was later extended by another 3 months till 31st august 2020 it will be interesting to see in the time to come whether the government or rbi exercises legal remedy available in the form of a clarification or review application for this decision before the apex court hence this is happy ending for all the borrowers on the face of this judgment however every borrower has to see that how much relief he gets in real terms because that is what matters stay safe and healthy bye bye